In a dramatic twist from Venezuela, opposition candidate Edmundo Gonzalez has accused Nicolas Maduro's regime of forcing him to recognize Maduro's election win under duress. Gonzalez claims that he was threatened and coerced into making a public statement that he did not believe in. This explosive allegation has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, further intensifying the already heated controversy surrounding Venezuela's recent presidential election. The international community is watching closely, with many calling for an independent investigation into the legitimacy of the election results and the methods used by Maduro's administration. As tensions rise, the future of Venezuela's democracy hangs in the balance. Gonzalez now in Spain revealed in a heartfelt video message that he was coerced into signing a controversial letter. This letter, he explained, was not something he agreed with, but he felt he had no choice. While hiding in the Spanish embassy in Caracas, he was forced to acknowledge Maduro's victory. The pressure was immense and the situation was dire. According to Gonzalez, he was given a stark ultimatum, sign the letter or face severe consequences. The threats were real and immediate, leaving him with little room to maneuver. This revelation sheds light on the intense political coercion and the difficult choices faced by those in precarious positions. Maduro's allies, including Jorge Rodriguez, have vehemently denied these accusations, calling them baseless and politically motivated. They argue that these claims are part of a larger conspiracy to undermine the Venezuelan government. Rodriguez, head of Venezuela's National Assembly, presented the signed letter as proof that Gonzalez acted voluntarily, emphasizing that the document was legally binding and witnessed by multiple officials. He has demanded that Gonzalez retract his statements within 24 hours or face the release of recordings disputing his claims. Rodriguez stated that these recordings would unequivocally demonstrate Gonzalez's voluntary participation and expose any falsehoods in his recent allegations. The Venezuelan government remains firm in its stance, asserting that justice will prevail. The controversy comes as the Venezuelan National Electoral Council declared Maduro the winner with 52% of the vote. However, Gonzalez's supporters argue he won by a clear margin. The international community remains skeptical, with the US and EU refusing to accept the results without full voting data, which Venezuela claims is corrupted. As this political drama continues, the world watches closely. Stay updated on this story by subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. Like and comment below with your thoughts on this unfolding situation.